Here we have post-trib moment number 36, and here Steve Anderson is doing something that I uh, exposed him for doing years ago. Uh, I did a sermon called Post-Trib Rapture Thieves, and I said that the thief will steal things for the Jews. Okay, they can't stand to think that most of the Bible is for the Jewish people. It's about the Jewish people. It's for the Jewish people. They want to think that the Gentiles now have come in and usurped the position of the Jewish people. And that God is all finished with the Jews. And that's what this little heretic believes. And uh, nationally, I'm saying, uh, maybe individual Jews he would say could get saved. But nationally, God's all done with the Jews, which is heretical. That's replacement theology. It's satanic. Okay, but um, he comes in and he tries to steal things from the Gospels when Jesus Christ was clearly speaking to the Jewish people. And that's been demonstrated over and over and over again. He is in the Old Testament. Okay, the New Testament begins with the death of Jesus Christ. Read Hebrews chapter 9. All right, this little heretic, what he tries to do is he tries to say that Jesus is speaking to everybody. That the promises there and the words there are to everyone. Because it says to all. You know, it says everybody's to watch. But it doesn't mean that every single promise in Mark 13 is for everybody. Okay, that's heretical. And he's saying here, the commission that the Lord gave goes to all believers. Even though the great commission that he gave was originally to the Jews to go out and convert the nation of Israel. And because the nation of Israel rejected the gospel went to the Gentiles. Okay, that's scripture. He can't handle it. But let's listen to a little bit of this nonsense. I'll be loosed in heaven. Who did he give that kind of power and authority to at this time? At the time that he wrote those things, he gave it to his Jewish disciples. Not the nation of Israel, not the Jewish people. Quote. Uh, yes, he did. He lied. Again, he lied. Unquote, but rather he gave it to believers, to the saved. So saying that this is talking to uh, the Jews. There were no Gentile believers in the early part of the book of Acts. They were all Jews. This makes no sense, especially when you read the last verse. And what I say unto you, I say unto all. Watch. He says right there he's talking to everybody. So He said everybody's to watch. All. And you know, you could also make the argument that he says unto you, his twelve disciples, that all, all Jews are to watch. So again, he has no argument here, but continuing. Mark 13 is not a passage that's for the Jews, quote unquote. Yes, it is. The time of the Gentiles, the fullness of the Gentiles is just about over. And then all Israel is going to come back and they're going to be given signs and wonders for seven years, the time of Jacob's trouble. And they will accept Jesus as their returning king, just like was prophesied. And this little punk can't handle it. It's a passage that's for all saints and all believers. And he says in verse 29, So ye in like manner, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh even at the doors. We will see the sun and moon darkened. We will know that it is near. Well, let me just say something here quick. The more I watch these videos, the more I'm actually kind of convinced this guy might actually see the things that he's talking about. I have to question whether this guy's even saved. I don't know how the Holy Spirit could be in somebody and have them be this messed up. I'm going to talk more about that in a later video. But I question. I have to question if this little lying heretic is even saved. Truly born again and the Holy Spirit of God leading him into all truth as, it's, as he's supposed to.